Well, everyone, iOS 18.0.1 is probably going to be a lot closer than you really think. So as some of you may know, iOS 18 just officially came out yesterday of me making this video, which is pretty crazy. I've installed the RC for some time. I've installed a lot of the betas for some time as well. And the thing I can definitely tell you about iOS 18 is that this is a good update, I'm sure. This is going to be an update that's going to have a lot of stuff built in. It's going to be a very, very good update throughout the next year. And I've installed it on the 10R, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 when it eventually comes out in every iPhone in between. And this is the thing I'll tell you about this type of phone, right? On iOS 18, no matter what you're going to do, there's going to be issues and there's going to be bugs. And it doesn't matter which iPhone you install these particular versions of software on, because they're always going to have issues. They're never going to be perfect. So when is, what am I even talking about here? I am specifically talking about iOS 18.0.1, and I'm referring to these particular versions of software being the better ones to install. There is no reason I would recommend any single person to go ahead and install iOS 18 when it officially comes out. Unless you have an iPhone 16 or you got tricked into installing iOS 16 on an iPhone 15 or something, I would not recommend installing iOS 18 on any device for the most part. At the bare minimum, right? At the bare minimum, I would recommend installing iOS basically iOS 18.0.1. This is the bare minimum of a software I'd recommend installing because on an iPhone XR or an iPhone 11 or iPhone 12, it doesn't make any sense to go in and install these types of versions of softwares because there's going to be so many issues here. So personally for me, this in and of itself is one of the big things to keep in mind. On an iPhone like an iPhone 11, 12, even these ones I wouldn't recommend installing because there's going to be so many issues, so many bugs, so many problems here and there, and it really doesn't make that much sense to go and install it in my personal opinion. So this in and of itself is another very, very big thing to keep in mind. So like I said, at the bare minimum, like at the bare minimum, I would recommend waiting out until iOS 18.0.1 officially comes out. Go through, grab that version of software, and it makes so much more sense to go and have that version of software installed there rather than going through and basically installing iOS you know, 18 when it officially comes out because there, there'll be lots of bugs, lots of issues. And I would say for the most part, you can still come back from, but I just wouldn't recommend going through and installing those versions of software as of this point. So keep that in mind. Again, my voice is not the end all be all. Although I know some people hear it, you're better off waiting until iOS 18.0.1. Don't install iOS 18. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.